So as it turns out, we're totally at the end of the game. So uh, this is the final mission. So I'm I'm going to do it because I don't feel like, like, you know, if we go back, for instance, onto our map, we got a lot of stuff that we could collect. We have a couple tombs that we could go do. We've got like these itsy bitsy things. That it's like, well, we could go do those things. We could go explore the world a bit more. We could do this stuff. I just don't feel... Um, the desire to and that's that's not a good spot to be in with a game that has a lot of stuff to go explore we'll talk about that when we get to the end of the game but for the most part i feel like i've done a pretty good job of doing quite a bit of stuff so i think um i think i'm ready i'm, I'm ready to go to the end yes yes i am ready how is the plan coming together Adsley? we have options would you Kukul Khan's army will follow the Sakpe to the Great Stone Bridge to reach the Pyramid. If we approach them head on, we have the best chance to intercept them, but we could easily be overwhelmed. If we go in this way, it'd be more secure, but our timing would have to be perfect, or they'd slip through our fingers. Can we do both? If we approach head-on, I can go around the other way and act as a sniper. They'd be trapped. No approaches without risk, but... I believe this is the best option. Good. Then... On your order. Gather the troops. Let's go. Okay. That kid reminds me of somebody. I can't quite put a finger on it. Maybe I've heard that actress, or actors rather, <laughs> actor's voice before, but. Yeah, something's familiar about him. I keep, every time I've seen him, I kind of feel that feeling. This is where we part. Your path lies that way. Lara. I want you to have this, for luck. Etsley, I can't. After today, the Eclipse will no longer represent us. We keep the sun, but you remove the shadow. Ah, that's Thank good. You. Be careful, Jonah. You too, little bird. I mean, he hasn't died yet. <clears throat> He's had a lot of opportunities to die, and he hasn't died yet, so I think we're good. swimming. Unuratu's amulet, a moon-shaped charm. Edsley gave me half of Unuratu's eclipse amulet. I get the moon, and he kept the sun. I suppose this means he expects to remove the darkness over Paititi. Tall order. I hope I don't let them down. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we got some herbs. We got anything else in here? Don't look like it. Okay. Let us swim away to the end. Of the game. Why? Why are rocks just falling? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I guess I really can't complain, considering um, we're at the point in the game where we just had a mass. Ooh, why? Why is there fire underwater? That's cool. Am I like in a geothermic area? There. Ooh, I gotta watch out for these rocks. Yeah, I can't really complain because the world just fell around apart. Oh, wait, that's what it is. The world is falling around or, or fall, falling apart around us. I see. We're not in a geothermic activity area. We're just. The world is coming to an end. Makes total sense. I'm surprised they put an area that long to have to swim without having an air bubble in between. I feel like I could swim quite a long ways because of my upgrades, but I don't think anybody necessarily is going to take all of those. Okay, this is a little ridiculous. <clears throat> also, this water would be getting really hot very quickly. It's cool nonetheless. It all makes for good set pieces. I like how the team was basically like, how do we make for a cool set piece at the end of this game? Oh, right, just have the, the world fall apart. Ooh. It's pretty. Unbelievable. Oh, it's, 
It's so cool. Jonah, I made it. I see the bridge. Shit! Ah, they blew the bridge. We'll find another way around. Okay. Kay. Do you see that red smoke? Yeah. I'm gonna check it out. Unaratu said that the crimson fire was her destiny. Okay. Don't take too long. I'll try not to. Also, I hear the crazy dudes. Commander, this is Cardinal 2. The bridge has been taken out. Good. Team so leaders coordinate with vehicular support. Cardinal 2, you're their eyes. Copy that. Remember, people, any structural opening is a potential enemy vector. So, they're also having to fight these guys, so maybe they'll be a pretty good distraction in the end. More helicopters. This is awesome, though. This is really cool. Yeah, there are a lot of those dudes. Okay. Yeah, shield. Trinity's hunting them. Yeah, we'll have to be careful with that. Wait, how am I gonna get there? Visual okay. hostiles, changing course heading Ooh. to one zero five. That was quite the jump, not gonna lie. Looks like I have to jump across to get to the other side. Establish kill zones and hold them off the temple at any cost. This is rad. Can we go down or do we have to go up? I don't, I don't actually know what it wants me to do here. Are we gonna go down? So if I go, okay, yeah, I can't go down. Good progress I, in all sectors. We are losing a lot of people. I really didn't want all it like Stay away um, from the walls. Stick with your comrades. throwing me Overlap off the wall the because I hit the wrong button. Okay, that was, <laughs> couldn't get, it wouldn't give me any momentum. <laughs> I was pushing the buttons. It just wasn't going anywhere. Oh crap, I have to do this all again. This is stupid. I think the controls yeah, for the uh, them. the swinging have been it's really poor this entire game. Hostiles, course heading to one zero five. It, it could have used um, a bit more time to get the controls feeling good for that. And hold them off the temple at any cost. Okay, so now we're gonna go down. Okay. Good progress in all sectors, but we are losing a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Huh? All units, stay yeah. away from the walls. Jump. Stick with your comrades. <laughs> Overlap your fields of fire. Okay. And then we're going to arrow here. The source of the smoke. I can reach it. But, but what is the source? That may not be a good thing. When the crimson fire smokes, seek your mirror. Was this Unaratu's destiny? You're the Crimson Fire. I think we're supposed to work together to defeat Kukul Khan. Fuck failure. Jeez, she's creepy. We shall. Okay, it's a cool mask. Let's do this thing. <clears throat> Let's work together with them. I hate them throughout the entire game and now I get to work with them? That's pretty cool.
Okay, let's do this thing. Queen of the Damned. Just don't attack me. Don't touch me. Eve, don't touch me. <laughs> it's a creepy. Very creepy. do this <laughs> creepy music how are they gonna get across I got tools they're gonna do other things Jonah change your plans I'm bringing reinforcements what I hope you know what you're doing I really Me don't too. I really really Commander, don't <laughs> we have eyes on Croft she's with the Yashil she's what don't get distracted take her out this is cool I like this <laughs> And like I get to follow her around. We, need and we get to climb together. Your way. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I couldn't tell if the if the guy was like just randomly growling on the radio or if that was one of the creepy dudes. High council in position, holding perimeter. Repeat, high council is secure. Okay. They have APCs. This is Commander Rourke. The entire high council is here. Anybody else knows that that helicopter flew really weird? Oh, this is gonna break apart. I don't like this. Uh, the jumping on the helicopter. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, Laura, you need to you need to keep keep going. Ooh. I have a legit fear of helicopter runners, not gonna lie. These guys are brutal. Jonah, we did it. We've cleared the way to the temple. We're pushing through too. Almost there. Where's Dominguez? He's inside the temple. We're so close. My Tomenaka! Thank you, Kukulkan, for this gift of renewal. We are prepared to receive your power. Surprise, mother trucker. I brought friends. Lots of friends. They're with you? This ritual is mine to complete. They've chosen wrong. It's all wrong. No. It was always theirs. Give us the box. No. No. Never. I must protect by Titi. We all create destiny. Not just you, all of us, together. Headstrong to the end. Attack! Okay, okay. <laughs> Can I get through to him? Probably not. Nope. This is Commander Rourke. All remaining units hold the perimeter. They've breached the gate. All right, here we go. All units, we will dominate our choke point. And gentlemen, do not let the enemy get 
Take their helmets off, you know, pop some heads. Helicopters are brutal. There's a fire thing. Let's get the fire thing. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna heal. Or maybe not. It didn't want me to heal. APC? That that seems not fair. Just get it over with. Let's not get hit by that. I can't shoot at that. You never had a chance. Oh, I saw. I saw I saw what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Here we go. Uh... Nope. that not work? There we go. This is Paladin 1. I'm surrounded. Out of ammo. No! Please! No! No! <laughs> I mean, oh hey, I leveled up. I guess that's one way to do that. Alright, let's go. Uh, is there anything to collect? Can I, like, loot these guys? Oh, there's some salvage down here. I've really been checking for loot. All full up. Can't carry any more. There's a, an interesting juxtaposition between the last bit of this game and the... I think I could loot him? Yeah, I could. The last bit of this game and the end of the previous two games, which uh, which I will discuss at length when we get to the end. Um, Jonah, it's interesting, at the very least. I'm going after Dominguez to stop the ritual. We'll hold them off as long as we can. So that. Full up. Can't carry any more. Can I? Can I do? There we go. So I have three skill points, so I may as well use them. They're introduced maximum energy. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just getting more health. That's all I'm gonna do. Part of the Jaguar. Press F2 to use endurance herb mixture. Endurance reduces damage from melee attacks. Okay. So I could do that. Also, I realized I don't. Have, I don't have like special. Oh, I do. Never mind. I do have the, the greaves. Okay. Whatever. We're just moving on. There's nothing nothing to see there. There's really nothing to upgrade, so... That will act as a save point. At the very least. Which I'm sure we will come back to, because we'll screw up some control thing right here. This is Zeta Team! The High Council is being overrun! We need a... I think he got overrun. <laughs> Oh, hey, why didn't you grab onto that, Lara? I... <laughs> what? Why didn't she do that? Okay, let's try this again. This game sometimes, I'm telling you. You, you all know my frustrations. The High Council is being overrun! We need a... Okay, there's... Do I... Do I... Okay, I just... I grab across. I don't have to jump across, apparently. <sighs> I, sh I should have seen the, the white mark. It would have let me know. What am I doing here? Am I swinging or am I jumping? I'm swinging. And then we're climbing. The white paint. Follow the white paint. The high council's been slaughtered. Commander Rourke, we need your orders. Uh, why? <sighs> Wait, did he say Rourke's dead too? this game sometimes <sighs> okay I apparently need to get all the way to the edge in order to jump to do this very specific the game definitely needed a, a little bit more time for polish on the controls so here we go Leap this okay we're good I really thought I would be the one to kill Rourke. Fall back! Fall back! All units, fall back! Oh, that. Yeah. What yeah. The there is no perimeter! Everyone's dead! Get okay, here we go. Fuck out of here! What? Why didn't you...
Okay, good. I was gonna be really pissed if it was like, oh, hey, dummy. Time for you to go all the way back. Okay. We're gonna go one more. There it goes. Jeez. What? What? <laughs> the problem is it's not even challenging. It's just a pattern. It's, you're just learning a pattern. Okay, I'm gonna try this without going twice. Okay. Then we go here, and we gotta move, apparently. I don't know why that knocked me off the first time, actually. I feel like I was in the same spot. Okay. We got some rocks. We need to jump now. And then scurry. Climb. Oop. Scurry. <laughs> jump. Pivot. Okay, jump. This is gonna fall apart. We can tell it because it's cracked. It's like old school cartoons where you knew something was out of place because it had a different like look to it. It didn't look like it was part of the background. Here we go. Alright, then we're gonna climb up. And around. Where do I go from here? I'm actually not really... Oh, up. I go up. I see. That's fine. I, I'm okay with continuing to go up rather than sideways. Let the sun dip. I die more the often sideways. The darkness the world we have known. Let the shadow pass and the light shine again on the world of our creation. Did he just become like a god? Destroy any who would destroy your power and potential. Uh, let's knock this off. Oh, I got shot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Why play bows and arrows when I can play assault rifles? Let's heal. Let's hit this again. Okay, now we gotta kill the Jaguar. Okay. No, please. Please heal. Let's F2, actually. Hold F2. Okay, so we got that. Please die. Oof. Whoops, that was slightly over his head. Why, man, you guys really don't want to die, do you? Oh, wait, I'm muddying myself. <laughs> Can we heal? Go, okay. I think I just need to play a different kind of game here. You know what I mean? Let's, let's loot that, though. This assault rifle ammo, always good. Can I go double whammy? Try this again. Maybe move this phase forward. One more. Come on. Yeah. Nothing will stop me. Remaking the world. Nice dodge. Today we take control of our destiny. Okay. We're fighting a god. <laughs> Let's hold F2 just in case. Let's go over this way. Let's go back to the shotgun. Try to take these guys out. Okay, where did he go? Let's loot that. Please? Can you please loot that? Okay, that's that's it. <laughs> 
He's got a cool weapon, I'm not gonna lie. Some ammo there. I need to heal, yes. Okay, where did he go? Hello. I don't know quite what's going on there, but I'm gonna loot. I like my shotgun ammo. What is he doing? Is this giving me a chance to like get in there? It is. My whole life. You can't match a god. All right, all right. Phase one. Phase one done. Allowed you to leave now, or two. Phase two. No more. Ooh. Okay, let's let's get up and scurry. Scurry along now. Okay, we need to heal. And heal death too. Those are really weird buttons to hit while you're running, but you know, it, it is what it is. I thought you were smart. Ooh, that's close. Okay, here we go. The basic My boss fight is cool. Mine to protect, not yours. Man, you're so white. Maybe you need to get some sun. You know what I mean? Get it? Because there's an eclipse. That's a, that's a bad joke. I'm just trying to live. Okay. Let's let's not take fire damage, please. And please take care of these guys. Ow. My screen go all red for a second. Not too sure. Let's heal. Hold F2 again. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so we got some of these. That hurts. Let's do some scurrying. All right, Bowman. I'm going to shoot you in the face. Oh, did I die? No, but I'm real close. Heal, heal, heal. Where is this other guy? It's you. You're the big butthead at the moment. There we go. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Now, we have an assault rifle. A ton of ammo. Attack all you want. But Goku Khan will only make me stronger. I feel like I'm getting stronger. Okay. F2. What is he doing? Oh, what the heck? Where did he he teleported? He's not lying, he is getting stronger, and I need heal stuff. So we're gonna We're gonna look right. I think that was a heal one. Oh, what, what do you mean I don't have a space for that? I can't, I can't get heal stuff. I just need to run. Run. I'm looking. Is that thing? That's, no, that's, that's for a different kind of, oh crap. I might die. Cause I can't, I can't get a heal on. There we go. Okay, so that at least gives us enough of that. Let's, um, F2. Where did my assault rifle? Oh, geez, he's like right behind me. He's moving. Stop laughing at me. You're becoming less glowy. Okay, we know where a heal thing is. That's good. Oop, and we know where ammo is. Where's it going now? Woo! Dowkey. Let's not get hit. Okay, I know where that heal thing was, so I'm gonna go back over there to that. There, there it was. Okay, heal. F2. Alright. Where's he going? Oh, I just needed to hit him once. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Better be safe than sorry. How are you not dead? I've stabbed you so many times, bro. Okay. Ow. Crap. As soon as he teleports, I just need to run. Ah, oh, crap. I don't have enough to heal, so I have to run. 
I need to I need to take these bow dudes out. Crap. Damn it. Hopefully that checkpoint is brutal. It does. Okay. Just did. Yeah, I just gotta run away when he does that. When he teleports. Did we do it? might have something to say about that. <laughs> my loves, will you hold still for a second? Uh, oh, yes, my white queen. One. <laughs> Can I see? Of course. There's you, and me, and your dad. Where are we? Hawaii. With this key and the silver box, we can remake the world. Without witness, cruelty. If you had that power, what would you do? My brave girl, who is not expecting a Jaguar <laughs> attack. <laughs> <laughs> Where shall we go next for our real adventure? I hear uh, the Antarctic is lovely this time of year. Dad. Oh no, well then uh, perhaps the salt flats of Utah. Oh Richard. I know where we're going. You do? Hawaii! Oh yes. Yes, that should be really nice. <laughs> well in that case. Goodbye, Mum. Goodbye, Dad. Obviously choosing not to remake the world in a way that suits her. When the catastrophes come, the god Kukulkan must be sacrificed to power the sun. Otherwise, the world dies. Sacrifice a god. The sacrifice is my duty. But if my training fails me, the crimson fire will guide me and hold me to my promise. I like this world. It's, it's not perfect. But everything I love now is in it. After today, the eclipse will no longer represent us. We keep the sun, but you remove the shadow. I'm protected by it. Please. 
Farewell. Okay, that was pretty cool. Two, two days later. Ratu, my mother, a warrior, a rebel, a queen. She will be venerated for generations. I miss you. Now? We will heed her spirit to reunite my people. Thank you. So I'm head back to Kwakiaku tomorrow. Really? Missing the jungle? Off in search of the elusive fish tree? <laughs> uh, Abby and I are headed to the coast for a few days. Aww. I'm glad. <laughs> what about you? I think I'll stay here for a while longer. And uh, restore a few more artifacts? I don't know. So what will you do? I don't know. Etsli will help me figure it out. He'll let me know what Paititi needs to rebuild. Wow. I'm done searching. I want to be around the living. All right. Don't you have to pack or something? <laughs> now you are stuck with me till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to stay as long as you wish, Lara. Safe travels, Jono. Once Paititi is restored, perhaps I can join you and... Learn more about the world beyond Paititi. Anytime. You just say the word. You too, Uchu? If he wants to. <laughs> so, Jonah, Lara tells me you have a girlfriend. Uh, uh, we will come to the wedding. Uh, <laughs> wait, whoa. <laughs> Etsy, why don't you show me the plans for me? Yes. Ooh. Quite the adventure. Smart and resourceful. Rite of passage. To all sorts of achievements. Whew, so, uh, that's, that's the end of that. I have a lot of thoughts. Uh, let's start with, first and foremost, uh, the juxtaposition of that ending between the other two games. In the first, uh, in Tomb Raider 2013 and in Rise of the Tomb Raider, at the end of the game, you were running up to the end of whatever it was, so in the case of 2013, you were running up to where uh, the, the queen was or whatever her name was, I don't remember. And you were fighting just waves and waves of the, the crazy samurai dudes. In the second game, it was the same idea. You're running up to one thing and you're fighting waves and waves of uh, the, the Trinity. And it, that was cool. You're like, okay, this, this it is what it is. And then in this one, you're not really fighting waves and waves of more trinity or even of the uh the native people it's it's you are you are part of that big wave of people fighting against the people who are trying to fight waves and waves of those things and it's kind of a cool back and forth on that one because like in the first two games they they had it one way and then they flipped it for this game and i think that's kind of cool that's cool back and forth that said i didn't really like that ending it didn't feel very satisfying it was just like 
Okay, we sacrificed the god because the god was in her, but what happened? Uh, the, the world didn't fall apart, I guess. Um, it just, it felt like we were missing more story or something. I, I, I don't know, it just didn't feel complete. And overall, this game had a really cool idea behind it. You know, going to the jungle, going and doing like the Aztec stuff is awesome. It's such a cool idea. But it doesn't it doesn't really fulfill its promise. It it puts a really big narrative in front of you when you get into the game and you're like, this idea is gonna be awesome. We get to go to the jungle, we get to find out all this mysterious stuff. The setting is really, really good, but past that, it doesn't really deliver on it, I think. You know, the game had countless technical issues. Uh, there were lots of areas that were just like frame rate hell. Uh, on top of that, you know, the game would randomly do a micro stutter for recordings, and that was really annoying, and ways that I could fix that in other games would not work in this one. It was just baked into how the game was running and it was just really frustrating and you would expect that from a third entry into a series they would be able to step up their tech and improve performance even though it is a better looking engine now it still had tons of problems and part of me wonders what would happen if the game had a little bit more time to bake you know they would be able to refine the controls in a way that weren't frustrating in the ways that I found them to be where I expect them to work and a lot of the times it would just like throw me in random directions or wouldn't grab onto ledges properly and it was just like that stuff needs to be uh, refined and polished and cleaned up and it just it didn't happen I do I did just notice I'm seeing art from the other games in this and I think that was really cool like that one bottom right one but the thing is like I really, really, really wish that this game could have been better because it had a it had an awesome promise, it had an awesome setup, but in the end, it just didn't feel like it delivered. And I think that the first two games are better games. I really do feel like um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is the weakest one of them. You know, I think 2013 and Rise of the Tomb Raider are about equal, right? 2013 is like a, a great game and a great entry into the series and a really good start to a reboot. Rise of the Tomb Raider did a great job of introducing cool characters and the idea of Trinity and just going kind of deep into the lore and like, ooh, what happened to Lara's father? And this one just kind of trips at the finish line they were so close to coming up with something really cool they even had like i said this cool premise but they just didn't quite do it they didn't quite tie it together that said i think that the theme being in the jungle and doing all this cool stuff carries this game a lot more than it needed to and overall i'm i'm kind of disappointed in shadow of the tomb raider and i think a lot of you guys are too based on you know, just the, the conversations I've had in comments and stuff. Like, this could have been a much cooler game, and it, and it wasn't. There were some cool things that they have done. You know, tech-wise, there are times where Lara looks amazing, and the characters look amazing. And, you know, graphically, they did a really good job in some parts. But other parts of the game just looks really muddled and kind of blurry. And it's just, it doesn't, it's not that great. So, it's just inconsistent. And I think that having a... Um, a little bit more time to bake in the oven would have done this game really well but that you know that wasn't the case i guess they ran out of time they were in development for quite a while and they had to get the game out so that's that's the the way of things did i enjoy myself yes i did find the game enjoyable most of the time and the thing that shadow of the tomb raider does best compared to the other games i, I think rise of the tomb raider started this process but shadow of the tomb raider killed it on performances between Lara and um, Jonah, their performances were fantastic in this game. And the actress that plays Lara did a fantastic job of being extremely real and bringing that character to life. I, I don't think we're gonna get another Tomb Raider game from this team, but I think Crystal Dynamics really needs to. I think that they need another 
entry into the series. This was meant to be a trilogy. The trilogy is now over, but I feel like I want to see something else out of this. I want to see more to the game, and I want to kind of go back to the roots of a really solid gameplay experience that runs well, like 2013, even though 2013 when it came out had some performance issues, and remove some of this engine that they've been working on. Maybe retune it. Maybe just switch to a different engine. I don't know. But overall, I, I feel like um, I feel like they could do a lot better with a new game and letting, you know, letting time to to pass between the, the games. You know, don't don't start working on one now. Go do with something else. Go get a refresher on a different game and make yourselves feel like you've you've done something new and then come back to Tomb Raider. And I think that a new Tomb Raider game by this team would do really well, especially if you get would uh, Camilla Ludington is her name there to play Lara again because she does a fantastic job I love it overall again I feel like 2013 and Rise of the Tomb Raider are better games but I had my fun with Shadow of the Tomb Raider so as always thank you everybody for watching through the series it wasn't uh as long as it could have been but it was still a long one and I'm I'm happy that I didn't go back and do that other stuff. I didn't go do all the exploring because I didn't feel the need to. And that's that's a that's another thing that speaks to the game design of this one. I didn't really feel the need to go do more exploration or tombs because I didn't really feel like I was getting anything worthwhile anymore. I had pretty much all my upgrades I was going to get and I I didn't know that. I felt like there was more of the game there because I felt like I was going to get more weapons and more stuff to upgrade and it just it didn't, it didn't follow through on that promise. It didn't really get any more. I was kind of at the end of the game. And maybe that's just a misalignment of expectation of where I was in the game. But there we go. I mean, this is the, the final episode. Of course, we have more stuff coming up on the channel. If another Tomb Raider game does come out, I will jump in and play it. Because I'm, I like this series. I do like running around as Lara. And I think that they do a really good job of these games. Like, you know, I may not have enjoyed this one as much, but I still think it's... You know, it's still a solid game. It's just not the best one of the series. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any thoughts on Shadow of the Tomb Raider, let me know in the comments. I'd rather understand everybody else's uh, stance on which game you think is better of the three and kind of figure out where people land on that one. But with all of that being said, continue watching these credits because these people deserve this way more than I do. And we shall see you guys next time.
I had it all wrong. I thought that taking control of my life meant venturing out to do something extraordinary. I thought I had to fix everything. But the mysteries of the world are to cherish more than to solve. I'm just one of their many protectors. I'm not sure what the future has in store, Jonah, but whatever adventure's on the horizon, I can't wait to meet it. I'll try not to take myself too seriously. Tea, Miss Croft. Lovely. For now, it just feels good to be home. That's cool. The trilogy ends with the Lara we know and love. I like it.